Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Marianne. Hi, Angelo. Hi, Denise. Happy birthday. I hope you had a wonderful day. Hi, Gabriella. Hi, Jill. Hi, Jorg. Hi, Lorianne. Good morning, everybody. You all are having a wonderful Friday, wherever you are in the world. It's my brother's birthday. We're having a big family celebration for him. I found another <laughs> adorable picture of my grandmother, my father's mother, and me and my brother and my sister when we were tiny little kids. Christmas in, uh, Christmas in Hollis. She lived in Queens. Oh, let me see if this is any better. No, it's a little dark. All right. So I just like I have a big halo of light over me. Anyway, um, at my mom's, I'll be heading to Brooklyn to spend a couple of days at my aunt's, a couple of days at my aunt's before I head back to Virginia. It's been a wonderful um, celebration. I know it's really fun. I'm randomly, randomly following, finding these around the house. I think my, uh, my niece had this. So my niece and my nephew and my brother who are normally in California are here. And it's been really sweet to be with them. I went to sleep at 11.30 last night and woke up at 7.30 this morning. So I have eight hours of sleep. I feel wonderful. Feels really, really good. And I'm going to get to see one of my favorite girlfriends, Lynn Gerhardt, who is an artist and makes extraordinary jewelry. And she had made a couple necklaces for me and I had asked her for matching earrings. So she has them. So I'm going to go down and visit her and pick up some jewelry today. Always a fun thing for me. I love jewelry and shiny objects. Um... I think I showed you this yesterday, but Alicia, um, my assistant, my little partner in Soma, she gave me this gorgeous amethyst heart. So sweet of her. Hmm. I don't know why this turned out this way, but gifts are my first love language. And so I love receiving gifts. I love giving gifts. Very fun. Anyway, good morning, everybody. Today, we have lesson 239. The glory of my father is my own. Let not the truth about ourselves be hidden by our false humility. Let us instead be thankful for the gifts our father gives us. Can we see in those with whom he shares his glory, any trace of sin and guilt? And can it be that we are not among them? And he loves his son forever and with perfect consistency, knowing he is as he created him. And here's the prayer. We thank you, Father, for the light that shines forever in us as we honor it because you share it with us. We are one, united in this light and one with you at peace with all creation and with ourselves. Let me turn off all my alarms. Lesson 239, the glory of my father is my own. Let's see what Magdalene has for us today. Greetings, beloveds. Beloveds, moving in and out of dimensions, moving backwards and forwards through time and space, being able to allow for consciousness to shift from one realm to another, from one feeling to another, from one experience to another. Understand, beloveds, that all you are ever doing is standing still. Mm. You have created around you a world full of noises and actions and beings and circumstances. 
But all that is ever true, all that is truly permanent, is you as an expression of light, you as an expression of love. You do not think the thoughts that you think that are permanent. They are temporary. They are way stations that you have decided to visit. What is truly permanent, what it is that you truly believe and know, is the wisdom that you are as God created you. Ask yourselves, beloved, who am I? Who is God? What is it that you truly believe? What is it that you truly know? Bring into question everything that you have assumed to be true and ask yourself, why do you believe this? Why is this so? Has this been indoctrinated in you from parents, from teachers, from religious leaders, from your government? Have friends influenced you? What is it that you truly know to be the truth? And you will come to see that the only thing that is true within you, love, beloved, is the light and the love that shines. So allow yourself to unfold from all of the circumstances and all of the drama that you have created. For you are indeed the finest actors in all of the galaxy. And allow yourself instead to come with deep humility to the position of knowing that there is a love and a light that burns so brightly within you that it casts out all the darkness of all of the facade of the ego that says, I don't like the way that things are. I want them to be different. This light below it allows you to focus upon the truth. It shines light upon the truth. There is much facade, there is much protection that has indeed been created. So allow yourself today, beloveds, to perceive beneath what is not true and to feel and experience the truth of life. And the truth of life is the love and the experience that you have when the light shines from within. And then it casts its bright light upon all things in all circumstances. Forgive quickly today, beloveds, the moments, the choices that you make, the choices that you have made, where you feel that you want to be attached to something, that you need something to be a certain way. This beloved one was upset because it is her brother's birthday. This is the being that she loves the most in the universe. She had a way in which she wanted the birthday to be, and it was altered. She found herself upset. We said to her beloved, what is it that you are attached to? What is it that you want, that you believe is not happening now? And she wanted a feeling of specialness with her brother. Out of a place of feeling, a sense of detachment. And yet when we reminded her that the love that she has for her brother is constant and consistent, and it does not matter what is in a card or when a gift is given. What matters is the love and the light that she shares with him, that he reminds her of beloved Yeshua, her brother. That to her, her love for him is what the love is that she has for her brother, all brothers, all sisters can be loved in which way you ask, in what manner you ask, in the only way that there is to love beloveds and that is with complete and reckless abandon. So do not let, allow yourself to get caught up in the forms. Do not allow yourself to get caught up in how things should be. Just allow them to be as they are. And there you find your freedom. There you find your flow. There you will find the magic and the miracle of 
letting go of the ego's need to say this must be special. This must fit in a certain form. For the desire to do that, beloveds, comes from an ego that says, I must be more important than others. There is no level of importance, beloveds. All are loved in the eyes of God. All are loved in the mind of God. If you could just allow yourself to love you as God loves you, you would let go of the ego's need to feel special, to feel safe above anyone else. You would see that all beings are equal, beloveds. I know that my beloved Yeshua loves each being as much as he loves me and our children. I know that his love is for all of existence. And this he has taught me. So when I tell you that I love you, understand that I speak to you of a love that I have experienced and that I have known. And I am here to impart that and to share that knowledge, that wisdom with you. When you allow yourself to be loved, such as I am, you then have the generosity to experience and share that love with all beings. So when I come to you and I say that I love you, know that I come in a consciousness that has been gifted to me from my beloved and from God unto him. For he first endeavored to lead the way, to pave the way for all beings to be able to remember that they are free, that they are loved beyond imagination. So let this be what guides you today, beloveds, to know that only love is real. The love that the Father has for you, I have for you. May that give you peace and may that give you solace. And may you forgive swiftly places inside of you where you hold on to a need for something that is not real. It is ephemeral at best. God loves you. You are the very essence of love. So allow yourself to be that in the world today, beloved ones. Relinquish the need to be known as the one and only. Relinquish the need to feel chosen among the many. And allow yourself to love all equally. Expand your heart. And allow yourself to step into the truth of the light that you are. Blessings to you always, beloved ones. I shall speak with you again. You're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome. Thank you, everybody. I wish you a gorgeous, gorgeous day. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye, everybody.